flickering shadows, infrasound, a death trap for birds. Critics are finding lots of reasons to oppose ever larger wind farms. Here's an alternative, a bladeless pole-shaped turbine. Wind generates electricity through vibrations alone, almost silently. The inspiration, the collapse of the Tacoma Bridge in the US in 1940, a structure undone by wind. Using a homemade wind tunnel, David Yanez developed his first weakling wind turbines. The generator sits in the center. This is the part that converts motion into electricity. That's it. A slim structure, round, very simple, no gears, no bearings, no mechanics. It just converts motion energy into electricity. Sounds simple, but it wasn't. Vortex early years were rocky and energy output was low. Back then there was nothing on the internet for wind turbines without blades. There were no examples for us to learn from other than basic physics. But with government and European funding, the team went further, developing a larger wind tunnel and power plant. About two and a half meters high, it creates 100 watts of power. The turbine can now provide energy for a home. A single-family home, for instance, could have three or four solar panels on the roof. Additionally, there could be one or two bladeless turbines to provide the basic energy needs at night. The decisive advantage of the wiggling wind turbines, they can be put in populated areas, even cities. But before mass producing these turbines, Vortex is going one step further. They received an order from Saudi Arabia for larger versions. They're destined for Niam, the new city in the middle of the desert, which is currently being built. Four of them will be shipped soon. They've given us this wonderful opportunity to build turbines seven and eight meters high. This is a great opportunity for us to learn more and develop the technology even further. Once the large prototypes are finished, mass production of these mid-sized turbines is getting closer. Perhaps they will be available for purchase early next year.